slipping a little bit more as we speak. Microsoft in the red in OT as well. Steve Kovac is ready to rock and roll on that one, Steve. Hey there, Scott. Yeah, it looks like a beat on the top and bottom lines here for Microsoft. We got an EPS, $2.35 versus $2.30 expected. Revenue is just a very slight beat here, $50.12 billion versus $49.61 billion expected. But, Scott, I think it's the Azure cloud growth here that's setting shares a little lower after hours. Uh, it came in at 35%. Uh, versus the 36.4 percent we were ex uh, expecting estimated. And on a constant currency basis, that number is 42 percent Azure cloud growth. That's the number investors always look for, Scott. Yeah. Steve, all right. I know we'll hear from you again, too. Uh, assess this one for me, right? He said it right there. It's the cloud growth, right? I mean, that's ultimately what you are paying for in these types of, of businesses. That's where the growth is. That's what has justified the kind of valuation you're paying. Expectation was for 36, 37 versus 50 a year ago, and they come in 35. Also impacted by the currency, though. Let's keep that in mind. Taking away the currency effect, and now you move back above 40%. Um, I, I think that clearly when you're, you're, you're talking about the growth with Azure, it is decelerating. But let's remember, overall, the theory is that we're seeing significant adoption for the public cloud, and Microsoft is going to benefit tremendously from that, Scott. So I, I have limited concern here with Microsoft, quite candidly. If you are not a holder of Microsoft shares, I think this is a company, after this report, you take advantage of the price discount you're getting here after the right. close.